how to create a reverb room simulation sound effect in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your project's edit window, hold in Ctrl and press I to insert an audio clip into your project. Use command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Identify your inserted audio file inside the Media Pool Master Bin. Click and drag this to your edit timeline. Go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Audio Effects. And in the search box above the menu, type in Reverb to find the relevant filter. Click and drag one of these filters to your audio edit on the timeline. With the relevant audio file selected on the timeline, I will go to Inspector, select Effects. To display the settings which apply to the reverb effect, which can also be adjusted on the new window which appears on screen. Should the window be closed, these settings can be modified under effects in the inspector window, or by opening up the same window again by clicking on the custom button below audio. Please note that the narration in this tutorial with added reverb effects may not emit a sound effect that coincides with the exact audio settings that you see on screen at the same time. This is due to these narration segments being edited so that specific audio effects are made more significant and so that the narration itself is audible. The 3D dimensions of the simulated room can be adjusted using the graphical representation which appears on the reverb window or by adjusting the relevant variables which appear underneath the reverb settings in the inspector window, including height, length and width. Click and drag on the corner circles in the 3D structure to adjust the size of your room. The bigger the room dimensions, the longer the delay the listener will experience in hearing the echo effects. Increasing the output value increases the general volume of the echoes. Decreasing the value for direct generates a simulation of a sound being recorded further away from the sound recording device. The higher the reverb value itself, the more intense the echo effects will be, generating an echo wall reflection simulation. Increasing the low gain value will result in a deeper foreboding speaker vibration type effect of the echo. And the higher the high gain value, the more crispier the sound will be. An increase in the pre-delay value will, will result, result in, in a, a longer, longer time, time for the, the echo, echo effect, effect to, to generate. generate. And the echo lifespan can be determined by the reverb time. The higher the, higher the value, value here, here, the longer the, longer the effect, effect will last, will last for. for. To remove the reverb effect, select the red icon next to the filter title below effects. The background music in this video is provided by the proud channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and a link that will enable a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.